Hello everybody, Dave here from Trust Studios and today I wanted to share with you guys this uh, this grow of broccoli rob that I did in the passive hydroponic grow pipe and um, some of you who watch the channel know that I recently started trying uh, little rubber grommets in the holes of the grow pipe and those have worked really well. This is the first crop um, that I grew fully out in the, in the grow pipe with these grommets and um, so I want to give you guys a closer look at this um, and I'll show you when I planted it. When I first planted this grow pipe I had not I did not get the, uh, the rubber grommets yet so I just had the half inch holes in the grow pipe and then later I got the idea and I and I got the grow pipes in the mail um, got the grommets in the mail and I installed them in the grow pipe so I had to pull the little babies out and put the grommets in and then put the put the little babies in and I think I got the footage of that so I'll, I'll show you guys the the whole planting you know right from start to finish of uh, I germinated these on the clay pebbles and I believe I had um, these were the ones that I had with a little bit of paper on the clay pebbles which didn't work out too well but they did they did come through anyway I'll, I'll try to put that footage together too but I wanted to give you guys a closer look at this and let you know that I, I do like these grommets um, I wouldn't recommend them for anything with a bigger stem than, than the broccoli rob. Uh, for instance, kale. Kale gets a you know a good one and a quarter, one inch, one and a quarter inch stem on it. Uh, so that I would just drop into the half inch holes as it is. I wouldn't use the grommets because they close the hole up from a half inch to a quarter inch. Uh, but of course, the rubber does expand, and as you'll see when we look at some of these, um, I could probably pick this grow pipe up with the plants right now because that's how locked in the holes they are. Um, so even this is a little bit big of a stem for to, to use with the grommets but I think most crops will be fine. Most crops are going to be not as big a stem as this for most of your greens like uh, you know um, any of your lettuces or um, arugula or anything like that. Um, but even the broccoli rob I think it's okay. Um, my only concern is that if you have something um, this big that um, it might damage the rubber grommets from being used again uh, but I don't think so but uh, after I harvest this pipe I'll do another video and let you guys know how I how I did because as you'll see when we get a close-up look of this um, some of this broccoli rob is way more uh, the stem is way bigger than a half inch uh, so we'll see how it does coming out of here and um, you know how I'm able to salvage these grommets or not. So here they are all grown out. These are ready for going in the grow pipe and I believe I have plenty here. Should have more than eight and um, I got my grow pipe right here so I'll, I'll refocus the camera and I may as well uh, show you guys them going in and then I can update you later um, show you how they did. I never did broccoli rob uh, hydroponically before. I had it in the garden a couple years ago and it did pretty well but uh, I'm thinking it's going to do really good in hydroponics so we'll see. I'm going to pull out my little babies here. Just pull out one at a time. I'm going to try to pull out the biggest ones first so that if I have any left they're the little ones and I'll let them grow out some more. So we got one little clay pebble stuck on there and you can just, whoop, I didn't even pull on it and it came off, so. But you can just gently pull them off. And I'll just put that right in my first hole. So the beauty of the half inch hole is, well, you don't need any net cups and media, of course. And um, whether you use my grow pipe or not, I recommend you guys try um, going with the small holes. And um, don't worry about the media, don't worry about the net cups. Um, I've grown all kinds of things this way, big things, little things. Um, I had kale in here that had one and a quarter inch um, stems and it did fine even with the half inch hole. I thought it would would harm the plant but it really didn't. And so I'm just dropping them in basically and that's it. I'll show you guys after I get them all in there. So, well I could actually rotate the grow pipe. That's the nice thing about the grow pipe is, you know, I'll, I'll want to put it straight up and upright where the holes are on the top, but I turned it a little bit so you guys can see these other row of holes. There's a total of eight on this grow pipe, and I always usually have a link to my grow pipe 
um, where you can buy my grow pipe. But I also have a, there is a video, the how and why of grow pipes, where I discuss where if you want to make your own, um, you know how to do it, how to figure out the hole spacing. So there's my last two, and I have three little babies. Oh, I have two little babies I'm going to have that I'm not going to need. Sometimes I, I give the roots a little twist together because it makes them kind of smoother to go in. But I love this planting method, both on the hydrontin and, um, you know, just dropping them in the grow pipe like this. So a couple weeks later, after I planted this, I got the rubber grommets in. And so I just pulled the plants out put the rubber grommets in and then drop the seedlings back in and I'm using um, maxi grow on this grow and I started at one teaspoon and went up to one and a half teaspoons so here's a little update on the broccoli rob broccoli rob looks like it's doing pretty good this leaf has a little bit of uh, yellowing but for the most part they look pretty good Yeah, they look very healthy, and they're doing good. Um, these have quite a big stem, so I don't know if I made a mistake. Let me show you guys this one. By having um, having the grommets in, this one's taken up the entire grommet right there, um, and it's still got a ways to go. But so we'll see with broccoli rob. Like this one's filled up the grommet too. Broccoli rob has kind of a bigger stem, so I maybe I shouldn't have done it, but. I think it'll be fine. And now you can really see the the florets are coming in there now. So I'm going to go ahead and um, and harvest some of this, and I wanted to show you guys uh, how I'm how I'm going to harvest this because I'm not I don't want to take it all, so I'm going to take like half of the pipe, and uh, that should be fine to take like half of the pipe and just leave those uh, stems in there as long as you're going to harvest the other half within a, you know, a week or two. And then I'll go ahead and harvest the other half and then uh, clean out the pipe. And someone uh, sent a request today to uh, do a video on how to clean out and uh, get the pipe ready for the next grow. So um, after this, um, when I get this all cleared out, I'll do that video. So let me just uh, get this on a tripod and then I'll go ahead and, and uh, harvest some of this. Okay, so I'm not sure what I can, uh, let's see, I think you can see this, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one off right here, just about an inch above the pipe, and leaving that little leaf there will keep it alive, so it's best to keep that little leaf. Now you can see I got a nice, uh, about two of these will be enough for me today, so I'll take uh, that one, maybe three of them. Yeah, and if we leave this other leaf, I don't think it'll come back to any great degree that, uh, you know, I'll get another harvest. But So we're going to have some broccoli rob and pasta with garlic and olive oil. And that's probably enough. But uh, I'm going to take the third one because we really like this. And the other ones are smaller, so it'll give them time to time to grow up. And there we go. So basically I've harvested half of it and I've got a nice nice good lot of broccoli rob there. And don't you love hydroponics because you know other than uh, you might get a little there's a little spider in there. You have to rinse it off but you really don't have to wash it carefully because um, there's never been anything on here. It's been in the greenhouse other than the little spiders and if maybe insects um, no dirt and nothing bad so so anyway guys so that's what the pipe looks like now we have um, you know the ones I cut down that I left some leaves on so they'll stay alive um, that way they won't affect the others and those will be ready, you know, I'll, I'll pick those in about another week. And then I'll do the clean out, which is really simple, but I'll show you guys in the video. But basically, I just dump, uh, empty the pipe out, take the caps off, pull the plants out, 
take the uh, rubber o-rings out wash it with soap and water reinstall the rings put the caps back on and good to go but I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll show you the whole exact process how I do it when I when I get this emptied well thanks everybody for watching and if you have any questions or comments leave them below and I'll get back to you when I can remember take care of yourself take care of each other and I'll see you next time bye bye